Hi there, it's Carol again with project number four in my online class, Cool Treats online class. If you want the details to how you can participate in my class, check out my blog, www.carolbcrafts.com. In this class, we will be doing one card uh, because it uses the specialty paper and there's only one sheet to per pack to the specialty paper. So we do seven different designs with 12 cards total in our um, Cool Treats online class. The packet that you'll need is this one right here, the small, one of the smaller packets. It has a half a sheet of chocolate chip in it. It has um, a quarter sheet of Whisper White, a quarter sheet of Peekaboo Peach, a quarter sheet of Watermelon Wonder, and then it has the DSP. A piece of the specialty DSP that has a little bit of a sheen to it and then also a piece of um, another DSP from the Tasty Treats um, DSP package. To make our die cuts we'll need from our die cut package um, the Whisper White, the sheet of Whisper White and you want to keep them separate from your card base um, materials uh, so this this was going to be our die cut pile here. Um, so Whisper White, Peekaboo Peach, uh, Chocolate Chip, and then Crumb Cake. And then the little popsicle here will come out of some scraps from when we cut our Watermelon Wonder here. So we'll set these aside until we're ready to do our die cuts. The stamps that we're going to use are two stamps from the Cool Treats uh, stamp set. Happiest Birthday will be our inside sentiment. And we'll put that on a D block. And then uh, the next one is I hope your day is as sweet as you are. And we'll put that on a D block as well. The ink we'll be using is chocolate chip. The dies that we need, there's three dies. We need um, the little popsicle. It has a little bite out of it. Then we need this popsicle, the longer one. And we need this little piece of uh, fudge topping to go over this popsicle here. To cover up the little bite. And those are only dice that we need for this project. We're going to start by doing our cutting. So I have my stamp and trimmer here. We don't need to cut the card base because it's already cut to size and we don't need to cut the DSP. This piece of DSP um, is five and one eighths by three and seven eighths. And then this piece of the pool party DSP with the little white squares. This is uh, five and one eighths by two and one quarter. Now the first piece that we'll cut will be our peekaboo peach. And our peekaboo peach panel is going to be five and three eighths right there. And we'll turn it and then we'll cut it at four and one eight. Our watermelon wonder um, panel will be five and one eight. by three. And remember I told you we would use some scraps for our die cuts. This is the scrap that we're going to use so we need to put this with our die cut scraps. And this will be for our card. Next it will be our Whisper White. We're going to cut, uh, first we're going to cut a half an inch off the side, the long ways. 
and I'm going to use the, the right side of my measuring to, to measure my half an inch. And then I'm going to take this strip, which is the strip that we're going to use for our stamping, and I'm going to make it 5 and 1 8 inch long. And that's going to be for our front sentiment. So then we're going to take this piece, we're going to cut it at 5. And it should be at 3 and 3 quarters. So we really don't need to cut it because it's already to the size we want. So these two things we will be stamping. Before we do our stamping, we're going to go ahead and score our card base at four and one quarter. And we'll go ahead and crease this with our bone folder. Now we're ready to assemble some of our card. We have our card base and our peekaboo peach panel. And then we have our watermelon wonder. Well, first off, we do this. I'm looking at this one here, trying to match it up. Okay, so then we do this, and then this with this. So I'm guessing we need to do our stamping next. Go ahead and get that done. So we'll get our chocolate chip out. And we'll set this aside for now. Our piercing mat, because we're using photopolymer stamps. And this is a landscape card, so we'll do our stamping with our paper facing that way. We're going to stamp Happiest Birthday on the inside. And we're going to stamp um, our sentiment on this little strip here. And it's going to be the I hope your day is as sweet as you are. We're going to stamp it in the center of our, as much as we can get it, in the middle and in the center. Okay, we'll put our ink away. And we'll go ahead and start to assemble our card. This is our card base. We'll put the sentiment on the inside. We'll put this away. We don't need that anymore. Put our um, sentiment in the middle here. And then we'll start building up the front of our card. We'll start with our peekaboo peach panel. Again, we'll use our snail. And I'm using my waxy strip that comes from the mini glue dots, in case you're wondering where that comes from, from our stamping up mini glue dots. And it really helps me a lot, but you don't have to do it that way. And I found if you do it crossways, it's much easier because it allows you the freedom to move it around. So once I get it where I want it, it's about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, around the edges. I push I push down on one corner, then on the other corner, and then I just pull it out like that. And we will put our DSP on.
make sure that I'm putting it on the right direction. And we will center this one up. And once it's centered, it actually slides around quite a bit, almost too easily, when you do it crossways. Okay, that looks about right. So I'll press down on one corner and then on the other, pull it out. Next is going to be, so for this part, this panel, we want to leave about an eighth of an inch at the top, about a sixteenth of an inch at the bottom, so that there's about a, an eighth, not quite an eighth of an inch there. So it's basically you're just going to try to eyeball it the best you can to, so that it looks, so that you like the way it looks. I think it'd be easier to do this one first. And even for something this small, I'm going to use my waxy strip. So I'm going to put that at the bottom. Match it on the edges. About a sixteenth of an inch. Now we'll do the blue DSP. And we're going to put about an eighth of an inch from the top. And then we want it to meet on the sides. Now where we place it on our card front, it's going to be, let me measure. Okay. The way I have it on this card, the top of the Watermelon Wonder is a half an inch from the top of the Peekaboo Peach. That gives you an idea about where you want to place it. So the top of the Watermelon Wonder is a half an inch. I'm going to use the squares in my graph paper here. That will help me get it about right where I want it. Okay, so our card base is pretty much done. All we have left now is to do our die cutting. So we'll bring out our die cut pieces. The sheet, the piece of the watermelon wonder that we cut off, we're going to use that for our popsicle. And we're going to use the long one for our peach. And then we're going to use the chocolate chip again for the popsicle. So we'll go ahead and cut those out. Okay, so we have our watermelon wonder, our peekaboo peach, and our chocolate chip. Now we also need to cut out an ice cream with the little bite out of it from the whisper white. Okay, so we have one from the Whisper White. From the chocolate chip, we're going to cut one of the um, little fudge topping things for our to go on our Watermelon Wonder Popsicle. Okay, so we have our fudge topping. That's going to actually go on top of our Watermelon Wonder. So... The next thing we need to cut from our crumb cake, and we don't have to cut a full 
popsicle. We just need to get the stick part. So we want to get the popsicle stick with about a half an inch of the popsicle. So we're going to cut them like this. We'll cut two of these and one of these. Alrighty, so you can see that we have two of the crumb cake for popsicle sticks for these two popsicles. And we have one of the one of the um, oblong popsicle sticks for this popsicle right here. Now we'll put all of our die cut pieces of cardstock back into our packet so we don't lose that. Now if you want to stamp this, this is a step that I forgot about to tell you about. If you want to stamp your popsicle, it, um, go ahead and get out your peekaboo peach. And from your stamp set, you're going to get this uh, little lines right there. It's this one right here. And we're going to put that on a, put it on a D block. And we'll get our Peekaboo Peach. Now, if you don't have Peekaboo Peach um, ink, you can skip this step altogether. I'm just going to put something underneath it, a piece of scrap, in case it's going to go past the part. So I have it so that it's kind of like that little uh, swirly parts are going this direction. And we're just going to stamp over it like so. Give it a second to get all that ink on there. Okay, we'll go ahead and put our ink away. Now we'll be using our glue and we're going to glue um, the little popsicle sticks to our popsicles. But first we need to do some trimming with our snips. Now the first thing we'll do is we'll trim off the popsicle stick off of the popsicles. So we'll trim that one off. We'll trim this one off and we'll trim this one off. Then we're going to glue these onto our popsicles and we're just going to use little dots of glue so that we don't have glue running over the edges. I'll turn it so I can see it, so I can straighten it out, so it will be straight. Now, go ahead and do this one. Okay, the next things we need to do is we're going to put this behind the chocolate so that it looks like the vanilla filling. But we have to trim it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and trim off that much. And then we're going to do kind of a V shape. So that all we have left, and I'll put this here so you can see it, is kind of this little V. So that's, we've trimmed off the, the stick and part of the sides so that now we can put it behind the ice, the popsicle and it will look like 
it's um, part of the ice cream and I can see I need to trim this okay so we'll put some glue on this and I think it's easier to just leave that flat and lay this down on top of it all we want to see is the vanilla peeking out from behind the chocolate chip the chocolate chip cardstock so it's very subtle but it adds a lot to the ice cream and I'm going to see if I can help help you see when it's up against the red you can see how it adds just enough to make it look like there's a vanilla filling inside now now that we're done with that we're going to put our chocolate on top of our watermelon wonder popsicle The good thing about the glue is it gives you a little bit of time to move things around and if you get some glue on there wait till it dries and then you can just rub it off. I use an adhesive remover once it's dried to get it off. Okay so now we're ready to put our popsicles on top of our card front. Okay, this looks like I need to bend this popsicle stick back a little bit. If they if they seem to be sticking out forward, you can just bend them back just slightly. So I think we'll put these on with glue. That will give us a little chance to move things around. This peekaboo peek peach will go in the center. I'm not going to put any glue on my uh, stick at the bottom. Okay, this goes almost to the top of the blue DSP, just slightly below. Give it a second to dry, the glue to, to stick, and that looks about right. And then next we'll do our Watermelon Wonder. And again, I'm not going to put any glue on the stick part. And it's going to go between the edge of the blue and the peekaboo peach. And this part of the popsicle is going to be even with each other. They're going to be level. And then I'll do the same with the chocolate chip popsicle. Halfway between the edge of the blue and the peekaboo peach with the bottoms of the popsicle even with one another. All right, our card is finished. This is number four in our online, um, Cool Treats online class. If you would like to take my class, it's uh, $29.99 for the paper materials and embellishments. If you want to get the dies and the stamps and the paper materials, it's $74.99. If you'd like to pay for that, you can go to takemyclass at hotmail.com, email me there, and you'll get an automatic reply with the um, link to PayPal so that you can Purchase my class. 
and uh, I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye now.